Hey, hello, welcome. Friend, in this video, we are going to learn how we can move a file from SFTP server one location to another location. So there can be many various scenarios. Suppose you have to create one integration where you have to read the file from SFTP server and after reading the file in OIC, you have to done some operation and after the operation and the end, you have to move that file from source directory to archive directory. So in this case, you have to know be about that where how to move a file from one directory to another directory over SFTP server. So let's create one integration for that. So uh, if you will see here, uh, let me show you the server, right? So this is my server, right? So this AP invoices in my source directory. So I have to suppose this is my data file. I have placed this data file here. What I have to do is that I have to consume this file in Oracle after that consuming I have to move that file to another location so suppose I have to create a link let me create one archive directory right so suppose I have created one archive directory here so in integration I will read this file and after reading this file I have to archive this file into inside inside this directory this folder right so how we will move this file from this source directory to the destination directory as an archive directory so let's create integration and let me show you how we can do this. So first for that first we need to create one integration. So I will create schedule integration. So why we created schedule integration. So I have explained already earlier. Right. So as you know that we don't require that integration to be a trigger point or don't want to configure any request and response payload. That's why we created this integration as a schedule integration. And the main feature of schedule integration is that we can schedule this integration at a particular interval of time. That's why we created the schedule integration. So give, let me give the name xx move a file, move a file on SFTP01. And yeah, let's create on create button. So once you will click on that create button, it will create one integration. And you know that whenever we are creating any uh, a schedule integration we receive two endpoints that is the schedule endpoint and the, another one is the stop endpoint so we have to do all the logic we have to do the all the changes between these two endpoint only so here you can see that we have the first endpoint as a schedule and this is the second endpoint it is and so let me first change it to the horizontal and now we, have, we add so right now here i have to add the logic to first read the file from this source directory for that then after after reading i will do some operation some uh, do some uh, like any validation or that we as per business requirement then we'll move this file to archive directory right so here i will add one connection ftp connection this connection will read the data from the server so i will give the name as read file ftp next and here we have to provide the source file we are selected read operation right so first we will read and then we will move so here in the read operation what we will do i will provide the file directory and the file name so this is my file directory where i i have placed my data file so i will copy this directory will provide here and this is the file name so here we know we have only one file so I will provide the file name in case of you don't know the file name or you have multiple files you can use list operation plus read a file operation in previous video I have already explained you can get reference from there only now I don't want to provide any structure because I don't want to do any operation on this file right so now this endpoint with the help of this read file endpoint we will receive the data file from the server as a file reference okay so now it's time to send the data same data to our email and then we'll move the data from source to destination directory so let me add one notification so that we can send this file over email so send email notification i give the name let me add this notification firstly so here i have added all these things now i have to add the file reference so here i will click on the attachment here we have to provide the file reference so in the read file ftp only we have file reference so just expand here in the ics file you will get file reference when you will click on load more you will get file reference so i will map this file reference here close 
and done so our notification is ready to send email to the file whatever file we receive from server now it's time to move the file from source directory this directory to the archive directory okay so here we required so now we need to add another endpoint which is ftp connection so here we'll use move file ftp i have given the name as move file ftp and now here we have to select operation as move a file so when you will select operation as a move a file it will ask you the directory path this is the source directory from where you have to get the file for move and this is the directory target directory right this is a destination directory and this is the name of the destination right so here if you will see this is my source directory so i will copy this again i i will provide here and this is the target directory so i will get target directory this is as archive so i will copy this directory and will provide here and this is the file name what file name we have to pass right we have to move the file so here i have already this file here so i will get the file name here okay so now here and this is the target file name what target file name we want to provide so suppose i will copy this one and i will make this as csv underscore bkp something like that bkp or you can see arc arc so that it can be considered as archive and whenever user want to use this file again they can remove this extension and that will be actual csv file okay now need to click next and done so here if you will see this endpoint will get the file from the get the file from this source directory and it will move the file into the archive directory so this is the complete part in mapping we have not provided anything because we have added all the thing in in the endpoint already right we have configured everything in the endpoint only so in the mapping if you required you can do the extra validation in the mapping also right so suppose you want to concatenate the date format in your file name so here in the target file name you can add that one also right so suppose for example what file we are receiving from server so here if you will see this is the read file so in read file we have file reference right so what i want is that i want to uh, create the file right while moving the file i want to change the file name so this is the file reference file name right this is the file name which we receive from the server right sftp server so what do we i want i want to concatenate concatenate the file name i want this file name something like that so suppose this is my suppose this is a file name right this is the file name i receive on from server so what i want is that whenever this file will be moved to archive directory it will concatenate the instance id so whenever we run the any integration we got instance id right so we want to concatenate this instance id later so how we will concatenate so here for concatenating we will suppose our instance id is 10014 this is our instance id underscore i want to provide arc something like that i want to use this is my file name and this is the our this is our instance id and this is the hard coded value so how we can do we have concat function in integration so in concat function we will use this is our file name the first parameter the second parameter will be this underscore so here i will provide in single quotes underscore and the th fourth third parameter will be the instance id right so this is the instance id and now fourth parameter will be the underscore again underscore and this arc arc now done so here we will use the same thing these things for making the file concatenated so if you will go to the integration here i will remove these things and pass but if you will see here we we don't need like providing the hard coded value as a file name so what we will do we will replace this file name with this file name only whatever file we receiving from server and instead of providing the hard coded value as a instance id actually we don't know what's the instance id so here in the integration metadata only here we have instance id so whenever this integration will executed it will generate the instance id same instance id will reflect here in the runtime details so here i will replace this instance id with this instance id done and this i will be hard coded so now done click tick so here if you will see i have provided the target file name here in mapping only right in mapping if you remember 
we provided the target file name in endpoint while configuring the endpoint also right here we also provided the same provided the file name here right so what will happen is that runtime it will replace this one it will skip this point these values and it will use this value because we have added the value in the mapping right so if we will not provide here it will use mapping if we will not provide here then it will use the configuration part only okay so just save and right now we have one error so this error if you click on that you can see integration error this error is only related to the enabling the tracing variables so here we have to enable one tracing variable save and now you can see error is resolved so it is mandatory to have a tracing variable for each and every instance for each and every integration so now it's ready we have to run this integration so first activate after activating the integration we will be able to run the integration so yeah it's run activated now click on submit and submit now so it will take time to execute so i will you can see instance id is 16000140 so let me navigate to the monitor integration tracking here you can see 16000401 this is our instance id it's running so it's successful now move to the sftp and here you can see we don't have here if you will see here in the ap invoice this is our source directory when you will refresh you can see the file is removed here right now we don't have file so where this file moved you if you will click this archive and if refresh you can see this is our data file the file name underscore instance id underscore arc this is our actual file name so we use this concept underscore arc or any after the file format we use any value so that it can be considered as a archival file so whenever suppose file user the file the actual file what they will do they will rename this file and remove the extra value after that and will enter it will be considered as the same value that csv value you can see so this is the process how we create any uh, integration to move the file from one directory to another directory so for example right now here suppose i provided this text file so let me move this text file in source directory and let me again run this integration right so let me submit and submit now again it will take some time to execute once this will be completed i will check the integration i will show you the again the integration will remove the file from the source directory and it will move the file to the destination directory so yeah it's in progress status waiting for that to complete mm. just it will take little bit time sometimes it's take based on network here you can see we are getting error so why we are getting error let me check so if you will go to the navigation and it will check if you will check the log message you can see read file adapter so we are getting data while reading the file so why we are getting data while reading the error while reading the file so if you will see while reading the file we added the file name right we added the file name something like that but that file is not available on server this is the text file right that's why we are getting error so let me remove this text file and let me provide the same file whatever i have given in the integration so 10-1 this one right so you can also uh, do a logic uh, using list file in previous video i have explained so be, when you will use list operation you don't at the time you don't require the file name so you can resolve this issue while when you will use list operation so 16003 let me check again So it's time again success. If you will move to the server, if you will refresh, the file will be removed here and in archive. If you will refresh, you can see the file here. So this is the instance ID 16003. You can see 16603. This is the instance ID we mapped while writing the destination file name, right? So friend, this is the basic integration where we have learned how to move a file from one directory to another directory over SFTP server. Thank you so much for watching. If you want different videos or any other scenarios, if you have, please comment. I will try to create videos on that. Thank you so much for watching.